Whoa. Man, those are some lights. Thank you, Jesus, I guess, right? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I love the Lord, so let's give him all the credit for everything, right? Amen. My fellow Republicans, thank you for this opportunity. I have enjoyed traveling the state, meeting you delegates, talking to you on the phone, learning from you. It has been an amazing experience. Thank you for your commitment to the party. I am in awe of how much time and your talent and the resources that you invest in this party and this process. Thank you so much. So many of you have met my husband, Greg. We've been married 33 years, and he has he retired, I guess, to be my driver. So he has been by my side this entire way. Partway through the campaign, I gave him a promotion. He's now the director of transportation. <laughs> and you met my 91-year-old dad. I bet none of you knew he was 91, huh? Yeah, wow is a wow. I am so proud to have him here, so I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna try not to teary-eye here. My mother, they were married 64 years. My mom passed away three days after I announced my candidacy, unexpectedly. We wish she was here today, but thank you to my dad for being here. <laughs> to my family that has sacrificed so much to be part of this campaign. My children are here my son-in-law, my grandbabies, my siblings. Thank you so much for all you've sacrificed for me. I'm, I hope that I can give it back. And Greg, I know I gotta lavish on you a lot, honey. <laughs> and really, I just wanna say finally to all my supporters, SD53, wow, thank you. Did you show up? All the volunteers that have worked on my campaign and all of you out there that have supported this, thank you very much. We do have a great party. I love the Republican Party. We do have a great state. And I've said from the very beginning that my goal was to make sure we left this convention unified. That goal has not changed. Thank you. And I be, I'm even happier because I hear it here it's not going so well for the Democrats and I don't think they're, I don't think they're gonna come out very unified. I don't think they're gonna be unified. So you've spoken and it looks like Jeff Johnson, it's Jeff Johnson's time. Congratulations to Jeff Johnson. Come on, let's go, give it up for Jeff, come on. Madam Chair. <laughs> oh, yeah, used to that. Yeah. Madam Chair, I make a motion we cast a unanimous ballot for Jeff Johnson. I have a motion. I heard a second, so I'll let you take over from here, Madam Chair.